and welcome to Your Brand Expert Tips. So I've got a little tip that I'm going to share with you based on a question that Miles and I were asked at an event that we spoke at last night. We ran a workshop and the question to me in particular was, what is it that you read? So you know, if I want to know about branding, what is it that you read that you can recommend to me that's going to help me? So Joanna, as I said last night, it's not something that I read about, if I'm completely honest. Everything I do is based on my experience and the experience that of tried and tested and measured marketing activities that we do to help get our clients a response to their branding. So I don't think I've read a book on branding since I was at university, if I'm completely honest. So the books that I tend to read are more about how to get better results through social media or communication or customer engagement. So it's, it's from my point of view, it's more about the touch point. So how to get your brand consistently touching as a heartbeat, as I said last night, in front of the clients that you really want to do business with. So there are two books I recommended to you last night. I'm going to put a link to them underneath this video. I just thought that rather than just give Joanna that information, that you might want to also know what these books are that I've recommended to Joanna. So the first book, I've recommended it before, but if you haven't seen this video that I've created before, the first book is called Don't Make Me Think by Steve Krug. So if you are designing a website or you are thinking of redesigning the website that you already have, this book will help you to understand the fundamental principles of creating that website from a design point of view, not building the website, but from a design point of view. So there's so many people that try and cram their websites full of information, but you know what? When somebody comes to your website, they already know what they're looking for. They're searching for a website expert. They're set searching for a vet. They're searching for a drill. You know, they know exactly what it is that they want usually when they land on your website. So you don't need to populate your website with lots of what I call incontinent copy. So we do this, we do that, we do the other you really need to be talking to that person as if they're the only person in the world and you've created your product, your service, your website, your marketing materials. You know, if you're if you're aiming for someone like me, then talk to me. Don't talk to everybody. And don't talk about yourself as if you are we, this, you know, there, there are loads of us in this company. It's ideal if you can talk to me as if you are doing business with me personally. So, of course, in your About Us page, you could have a team section where it talks about the entire team. But more than likely, that customer is going to be looking for something quite specific. And the first thing they want to know is that you are the expert that they can get it from, that is going to provide it to them. So Don't Make Me Think is a brilliant book because it really simplifies what you need to have on your website. Even from the point of view that, again, we've made recommendations about this before, and I very much agree with what he says here, in that Using social media icons on your website is brilliant because obviously Google is looking and other search engines are looking for your presence on social media because it really does take into consideration your social collateral as well as your website collateral. So you'll probably notice when you, uh, if you search for me in Google, for example, if you type in Sammy Blindell, before my website or anything else comes up, it will more than likely come up with Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. So it will show uh, my YouTube videos, for example. So you, you do need to make sure that you've got that social presence on your website, but it doesn't need to be right at the top and in full view of that person because you want to take them on a journey. And that journey is one that leads to 
the relationship starting in the quickest time possible. The last thing you want to do is have them in a buyer's mindset and they've come to you for that specific thing and then they click on your Facebook icon and all of a sudden they're off on a massive trail. They start seeing all the status updates on their wall and they, before you know it, they're totally out of thinking about you and they're on another journey. So it's ideal if you have your social media icons maybe at the bottom of your page. So they're there more than anything for Google to pick up that they are there and that you do have a social presence. Of course, if you've got them through a cycle and a journey that you want them on and then you want to mention, oh, by the way, you can keep up to date with us at facebook.com forward slash brand expert tips or go to our YouTube channel called How to Build a Brand. You could tell them these things, but it's probably better that you do that in a video because then you've already started to get that relationship and they're starting to think about buying from you. I really would recommend you try not to take them on a different journey other than the one you want them to take. So Steve Krug, Don't Make Me Think is the name of the book. And I'm like I say, I'm going to put a link to it underneath this video. But, you know, just make sure that you are using those kind of principles because it, it does make a hell of a lot of sense. So that's a great book. The second book I highly recommend that if you've read it before, read it again. So you might well have heard of How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. And you've probably read it a long, long time ago. It's a very old book, 1920s or something, I think it came out. So, you know, he's been helping a lot of people over a lot of years to communicate more effectively, not just with your customers, but with family and other people as well. How to get the best out of people. Now, another book has come out using those same principles, which is called um, How to Win Friends and Influence People in the Digital Age. Again, I have recommended this book before, but I think that it's such a great book, especially if you are using social media to communicate your message. So it really does cover all the principles of how it used to be that you'd go to a networking event or you'd meet somebody face to face and you'd have a conversation and then you'd take that relationship and continue that relationship outside of that particular meeting. Well, now most people are having conversations online first through whether that's through mobile, whether that's through a smart device, whether that's through a laptop or a desktop. Most people are starting to now have conversations online and then they take it offline. So it's really key that you understand the new age way of communication and that you're communicating effectively using the principles and the techniques that have been found to work now in this day and age. So it's using all of the things that Dale Carnegie came up with in his first book and then it's taking those principles and then um, emerging this new digital age version of those particular techniques. So again, from a brand touch point, point of view, it's taking your communication, wrapping it up in a way that's going to really get the most engagement, visibility, credibility with your audience, and then helping you to take your, uh, your communication and your relationship to the next level. So those two books are absolutely fantastic. Of course, you know, branding isn't what you say it is. It's what other people say it is. So when you've got a brand that is communicating consistently online through social media and it looks the same when you go to the website and then when they meet you in person, your business card is the same. It's like a uniform, isn't it? And I've, again, I've said this before. People have been brought up to trust a uniform if you went and ha if you had a problem or a challenge, your phone has been stolen or something, and then you run up to a policeman who's half dressed, you wouldn't know if you were really talking to the right person, would you? So that uniform is so vital and it's really, really key that your uniform is branded consistently, your identity and each touch point you have with your customers is consistent with your verbal communication, what they're hearing about you, what they're watching, how they feel when they listen or read your material. So 
those two books are absolutely brilliant at helping you to do that. So they're not necessarily books about branding, but they are really. You know, it doesn't have branding written on the front of the cover, but every touch point you have, website, social media, communication, verbally, non-verbally, it's all part of brand extension. So I hope that has helped you, Joanna, to really take your business forward. I know that you're a website company, you provide websites and social media and online presence for businesses. So those two books are specifically going to help you even better. So if you have any other questions, please do get in touch. Either leave a comment in the box below or email me at advice at howtobuildabrand.org. And of course, you can also now register for the free six-step leader program that Miles and I have spent the last six months refining and creating to really help people just like you to start your journey, whether that's as a new business who really wants to start getting that communication out there and that heartbeat and that pulse rate going with your clients, or an established business who wants to review, evaluate and start attracting a new higher level of client this six step leader program will really help you to do that. So get yourself along to www.howtobuildabrand.org and all you need to do is put your name and email address in the box underneath the video and we will send you your first step to the leader program to get you started. So have a brilliant day. If you've got sunshine, I hope that you go out there and get a little bit of sun on your face because it really does help you with your mood as well. And we will be back tomorrow with some more daily brand tips. So take care and we'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.